Hey guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and welcome to my guide on how to complete the main easter egg in Mob of the Dead and get yourself the Pop Goes the Weasel achievement. Now if you're logged into a YouTube account, there'd be no better time than right now to smack that like button. Honestly, the amount of time I've spent trying to get this achievement completed and editing it into the most easiest to follow guide is honestly more time than I should have done but honestly you guys deserve the best tutorial that you can have so a like would be the best thing that you give back to me and also leave a comment down below if you use this guide to help you get the achievement there'll be links in the description as well to videos uh, to help you out with this as well as an app which will give you loads of hints and tips that I might not have shown in my videos for Mob of the Dead but anyway let's get straight to it Alright, so our easter egg begins uh, in the second level of the jail cells. Now above us is the electric cherry and the gondola. Now uh, if you stand here you'll see a zombie dog symbol and uh, as soon as you start killing zombies by this uh, the dog will spawn and you've got to let the dog eat up uh, zombies. It eats about seven to eight before disappearing and once it's disappeared that's when you know you've uh, gotten the certain amount of zombies the dog needs and uh, we need to do this for three different locations so this next one is on the roof just below the actual roof you know you can find these very easily on the wall and if you're not too sure on how to get to this part of the map just open up all the doors that you possibly can and you'll eventually get to it just keep going up now we're just showing you gameplay of us killing uh, the zombies until we get the dog to actually disappear so first location was the second floor of the jail cells Second location is just below the roof, and the third location we're going to go for here is on the dock. You just see here on the wall, you see it looks completely blank. We kill the zombie, and bam, the dog appears. So once you've done the three dogs, you actually spawn these really, really cool tomahawks, which are, are so, so good. So I'm going to show you guys now the location for those tomahawks. So we're here in the shower room and uh, if you make your way right you'll enter the citadel tunnels and f f waiting for you right there is the hell's retriever they're so awesome now these things work in two different ways so uh, anyway the second step here is to build the plane and if you haven't uh, learned how to build the plane already there's a, a link in the description and annotation right now in this video it will take you out to show you how to build the plane it won't take you off this video so you can click on that find out how to build the plane then come back to this video and uh, yeah so the next step is once you've done there wait for the electric chairs to spawn and you just want to go in the electric chairs and kill yourself now of course the achievement is breaking the cycle and uh, the cycle is going to uh, the pack a punch and then coming back into the map so uh, we need to do that three times in total but anyway once you come back and you've got these tomahawks make your way to this jail cell outside of the warden's office and throw it with a tomahawk and the poster reveals a a, uh, secret slab in the wall so we want to enter the afterlife here and this will be the first of two spoons that we can get so uh, you'll see there's a portal that spawned uh, where, which we couldn't see before and on the floor here is a spoon zap it and you'll hear Samantha's laugh and that's when you know you've done it right so then go and revive yourself and uh, we can begin with the next step now the next step involves finding different skulls around the map and they're of course retrieved with your Hell's Retriever so the first one is a jail cell right here outside the library it's uh, another door in the spawn room if you didn't take the grey one uh, you, it's essentially outside there that's the first skull going to move on to the next location for the skull and it's outside on the rooftop here again just want to throw your tomahawk and you know if you got it right of course because you see the skull flying towards you Right, the next one that we've got here is on the dock on this third pillar here. You just throw it and uh, you'll collect that. No problems there. Now, the next one is, again, by the dock. You want to make your way to the juggernaut. Get very close to the corner here and throw up towards this lamppost. And you'll see we retrieve that there, of course. And the last one is in the warden's office. You see this hanging uh, wire. Uh, you want to shoot that there. Now, if you go into purgatory mode, you'll see all these skulls. So they're not just like we're not just throwing them complete random guessing. It's uh, you see them there. And once you've done that, you get yourself the blunder gat. Uh, it's very awesome how this thing spawns out of the table. It's freaking awesome. Pick that bad boy up, and the warden speaks to you. He goes, "I'm coming for you, seven six two three." Anyway, the next step here is go to the cafeteria and this will be the second spoon. Throw your tomahawk at that and you'll hear the warden speak to you again. Now once you've done that, you want to make your way uh, over to the roof 
but before then you want to make sure that you upgrade the acid gun by converting it with an acid kit now all the parts to this are in very uh, similar locations all in these jail cell floors so just look about look in the corners and uh, you'll be able to find this now you need to convert this to the acid gun it's really good tons tons better than the actual blunder get you get free uh, clips per uh, per, per like reload and it's just an awesome gun in total so build the plane again this is the next step you know we need to do this cycle three times so this is the second cycle it's very tedious and uh, to get the plane running again you find fuel tanks in the same locations as the plane part so there's nothing too bad to worry about there it's super super easy uh, kill ourselves again at the electric chairs and that will be the second cycle of three cycles so uh, it gets a bit tedious having to build the plane and you know go over to the island three times in a row it's best to do the uh, plane parts at the end of a round leave a zombie so uh, you know when you spawn back in you won't be bombarded with loads of zombies so again we need to refuel the plane again and you won't be able to refuel until you start a next round so be sure to kill that zombie uh, that you left to get the plane get on the plane and then once you spawn back kill that zombie uh, do the next round and leave one zombie left again and then you know get all the fuel tank parts and build the plane again and no this is the third time now this is the last well it's not the last time it's the second to last time but it's the last time we have to actually fuel the plane it's uh it's cool but it is very very tedious but this is uh this is what we have to do so we crash into the golden gate bridge again for the third time in a row everything's really bad and uh, this is where it gets interesting so when you get back into the map make your way over to uh, this part of the map where we got the code for one of the airplane parts so you want to go into afterlife and you want to do this as quickly as possible it's very very tricky and uh, without a tutorial like this it was you know if I didn't know what codes to put in I would have been so so stuck so go over to the uh, number thing here and you want to input the code 101 by shooting the numbers on the electric buttons underneath until you get the right numerical number to display so it's 101 then the number shift to the left so you want to put in 872 and you need to do this as quickly as you can because your afterlife is running out so make sure you have someone standing next to you or right, after it changes the next number code you want to put in is 386 now if you run out of afterlife at this point get someone to revive you make sure someone's standing next to you on standby and uh, let someone else go into the afterlife to complete the code all right so after 386 the number you have to put in is 481 now I run out of afterlife at this point so my teammate here Exxon Jakey goes into afterlife and uh, I'm going over here to spectate him to uh, see uh, uh, what the last code that he puts in so remember it's 481 you have to put in at this point the next bit that comes up is absolutely amazing it's an Alcatraz audio tour it's phenomenally cool and I really really liked it so I turned all the sound down just so I could hear the uh, sound effects and I've made a video specifically of this part so there'll be an annotation on screen as well as in the description for you to check out the audio in full I've skipped this part here just because it does go on for a while and uh, I know you guys want to get this Easter egg done as quickly as possible so once you've done that you want to follow the pathway that the little audio drops tell you and it will do like a sort of guide of the of a, a large portion of the map and it will take you to the to the roof and uh, this little uh, audio tour gives a story of what actually happened uh, like with the characters it's super interesting and I'm really impressed with the story that they've managed to put in with this map like it, they didn't just stick a load of celebrity characters in here for no reason there is actually a properly good story and uh, the ending really shows you why so once you've done that uh, and you've listened to the audio reel and it's finished the next part is you want to go to this part just under the roof where the afterlife button is and all four players have to be able to enter the afterlife now make sure that you do not and I repeat do not get fuel parts for the plane okay the plane shouldn't be on the ramp before you do this and when you enter the afterlife mode all of you race to the roof as quick as you can and you notice that your afterlife doesn't deplete at all and the plane is already built for you and uh, you want to press A and levitate and jump onto the wing and uh, all of you will be in you know purgatory mode and you'll be able to fly the plane without having to actually build it and this is where things get so so cool so there's some really eerie music that plays here in the background and uh, we fly for the final time in this easter egg and we actually really get to see what happened to our characters and uh, 
the main gist of it is uh, we were all in uh, purgatory mode the entire time we were playing this map. Like, seriously, we go over and our characters are already sitting in the electric chairs and, you know, they've been asleep the whole time, you know, we've been in this poke they've been in this purgatory mode the entire time and uh, what happens here is incredible. As you can see, we only have three members of our team and all of a sudden, Weasel Arlington, Arthur Weasel Arlington, is the enemy and we have to kill him. Now, it doesn't matter if you manage to or not. If you, he has a, apparently he has 10,000 health, so he's really difficult to kill. And whoever's actually playing as him will have the, uh, on his screen, it will come up saying kill on the free players. So that's really, really crazy. But it doesn't matter if you don't kill him. If you kill him, it will say, uh, it will say a message. But if you don't kill him, then again, there will be a different message, which shows it doesn't matter. Either way, you get the achievement. So don't listen to anyone saying, oh, you didn't do the Easter egg right because this message came up instead of that message. It doesn't matter. There's two endings. The only difference is the text that comes up at the end. But this is the very first Easter egg where we've, you know, the Easter egg has been an actual ending, which ended the map. But I hope you guys found this Easter egg tutorial useful. If it did, I'd be so, so appreciative if you could smack the like button. I know you guys can really, really help push these videos out to everyone. And I honestly really hope that this guide helped you out. There we go. The cycle continues. 25 gamer score. Pop goes the weasel. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it useful, give it a like. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for some epic Mob of the Dead videos. We've got tons already on the channel and uploading. I've... It's been such a pleasure to give you this video and I hope uh, I see you in a future one. Take care guys.